in today's episode of Homestead How. Our entire family goes to the Haunted Hayride in Montello, Wisconsin, which is a really fun event, a little small town event. One of the perks of living on a homestead. We have a whole bunch of fun and a lot of laughs along the way. And I shared the story about how I poisoned myself with cat seizure medicine last week, and then I gave Jen some, and we had to call poison control. <laughs> so the next day, I took another swig of it, three days in a row, and then I gave some to Jen. I was like, here, you take some of it. And then all of a sudden, she started yelling at me. She said, what are you giving me? After she took a drink of it. And it turns out that I accidentally switched the bottles around, and that was our cat's seizure medicine that we were drinking. One of the great parts about living on our homestead in a small town is just that, the small town. There's lots of really cool events and things that go on that we never would have expected, such as this Halloween hayride. We've gone here every year, except for last year, unfortunately, and it's been a bunch of fun. But first, we have to round up the goats, and that's a chore by itself. That's boy. They're coming, they're coming. Katie, don't block them. It's not working. I won this round. Jen, where are we going? To the haunted hayride. You're in Montello. Lily's driving us. How many more people have to die, Lily? What? So Six. you're satisfied. But we're all gonna die. Yes, we are. Before we even get to the haunted hayride, Lily's gonna murder us all in the car. So come along with us on the Montello haunted hayride. Have some laughs, and at the end of this video, as we do in every episode of Homestead How, we're gonna show you some of our favorite homestead photos, spooky ones from this week. Say something. Kitty. Say something. What? Say something. What? What? Alyssa, we should open up a booth and just show people my flapper. Just show people my flapper to scare them. Show them my, my green thumb. We could charge a couple dollars for that. Could be one of the haunted hayride attractions. <laughs> Emma, why did the old man fall in the well? Because he couldn't see very well. Because he didn't see the well. Because he couldn't Wait. see that well. I need to hold on to Ready? What are you wearing? I can't. I want to be like the. Oh my god. I can see! She knocks everybody over. <laughs> How are you doing this? I don't know, it hurts. Stop. Why are you pulling me? Can you see my double tape? going down. <laughs> Come 
this? So is it gonna be worth the wait? Guys, how is that? Emma, is it gonna be worth the wait? How is that floating? Right? Katie, is it gonna be worth the wait? Emma, will it be worth the wait? He's waiting for someone to just say yes. So it's a beautiful night, the moon is out and we're looking forward to the haunted hayride. It is pretty scary, it's pretty cool near the end too, they have dozens and dozens of jack-o'-lanterns lit up and it's really quite the sight, lots of fun, I'd highly recommend it. the guy's nose we became best friends what was his name I don't know Gerald Gerald I guess maybe my future husband maybe my grandpa <laughs> he was like 90 know. years old <laughs> Jen was it fun yes oh, so she's a Alyssa are you okay <laughs> what happened what happened <laughs> That was the scariest part of the whole ride is Lily trying to back the car out, Stop. running over s some children and a baby in a stroller. I'm slowing down, I'm going 10. We got one more quick um, horror story to keep the theme up. So He's trying to kill me. Jen had a little cold a while back and she got a prescription <laughs> for some Robitussin and it came in a little red bottle. And Jen didn't like it, she ended up taking something else. So it was just sitting there and then it's like NyQuil, so it helps you sleep, and I was having trouble sleeping, so I wanted to take some before I went to bed. So I went to our night table, I grabbed the little red bottle, and I took a swig of it. And then the next day, I couldn't feel my legs when I woke up. My legs were like so stiff and weird. And then the 24 hours after that, I went to bed again, and I still didn't sleep good from the night before, so I took another swig of it. And then the next day, like, my left eye was twitching, and my legs hurt really bad, like I could barely walk. I almost fell over when I got up. So the next day, I took another swig of it, three days in a row, and then I gave some to Jen. I was like, here, you take some of it. Look, there's some deer right there. Look, that's the similarity of the So I said, I said, Jen, take some. And then all of a sudden she started yelling at me. She said, what are you giving me? After she took a drink of it, and it turns out, that I accidentally switched the bottles around and that was our cat's seizure medicine that we were drinking. So I drank cat's seizure me medicine like four nights in a row and then I gave Jen some. Who's the smart one in this family who actually figured Jen had to call poison control. Luckily they said, you're probably just going to be really exhausted, which I was for like four days straight. I thought there was something well, majorly wrong with me. And now this is the next night 
And I think I'm addicted to it because I really want to drink some more of that cat seizure medicine. We're almost out of it. I didn't read the label. I just grabbed it. Why do you have a bottle of cat seizure medicine on your nightstand? Because we were looking for it for the cat. Here's what they look like to show the comparison. I'll just send you the phone. It's called read the label like I did. Thank <laughs> you.